is here, uh, Lindsay, longtime newswoman in our area. Mm -hmm. uh, then you left. You came back, and we're so glad. Uh, you've always, you're born and raised in Amarillo. Sheldon, I have to tell you, Lindsay uh, was at a competitor station yes. for lots of years, and we forgive you, and that's okay. Hey, we got her we're here now. That's what that matters. <laughs> I appreciate it. I jumped, I jumped ship <laughs> and came up over. Well, to, in between the time, folks mm -hmm. may not know, but you're a mom, and you have a nine-year-old beautiful son named Ryder yes. so cute and here's what's so funny we uh, caught up with you when he was about three years old we did a story right. uh, on Ryder and so we've been wondering what you've been doing and what what's been going on because you're here with us you're gonna do the news with Greg Kerr that's right yeah so starting on Monday oh my gosh I'm going to be anchoring with Greg over on the five six and ten very excited but yeah. yes um, I left, I had a child, and he was actually born with some special needs. Mm -hmm. He has low vision. And so I thought, you know, maybe this is my time to step away from the news. And I decided to go back to school and focus on doing occupational therapy. And I did that for a good while. I had to go back to school, which that's- You did, you, know, that's you did, okay. never fun, going sure. back to school. Sure, I know, I can't, I can't imagine, I mean, uh, that's that's a whole life change. I know uh, a mom, you're like, I really want to do anything I can for my children, but changing your whole career, your whole life, I mean, that that's a good mom. That's a good lady. I mean, I mean, Sheldon, I mean, that that's a, that's life changing. And so I'm, I'm so proud of you for that. And tell me how Ryder is now. He's third grade. He is in third grade. Today's his last day in third grade. Yay. He cried all morning. He did? He did. He doesn't oh. want to say goodbye to his teachers. He's got oh. such a soft heart. Yeah. Bless his heart. But yes, he's um, he's nine now, going into the fourth grade. He's doing amazing. Good. You know, my time away, I was able to really focus on Ryder Good. and, and Good. getting everything that he really needed. And he's nine, and I thought, you know, maybe now's the time to come back. Sure. So, but yeah, he's doing wonderful. He plays sports. Oh, good. Rides a bike. He's so cute. Do we ha do we have those pictures uh, of Ryder? I want I want folks to see. Uh, there's Lindsay uh, oh. with her family, mm -hmm. cute, hanging out, uh, and Ryder is just. Is he tall? I feel like he's tall. He is very tall, and unfortunately, Aww. he did not get that from me. Bless his <laughs> heart. But there he is. Isn't there he cute? Is. He is a big fan of Aww. Halloween and all things pumpkins, and he's yeah. cute. Hey. Yeah. So like you were saying, you know, you took some time away, you know, stepped mm -hmm. away from news, talking about, you know, raising a uh, writer and everything, but you're saying, you know, now might be a good time to, you know, start stepping back into news. So can you tell us a little bit more about that, you know, what you're looking forward to most, you know, stepping back into this role? And of course, you know, I said getting to anchor with Greg and everything. What are you looking forward to kind of getting back into things? Wow, that is a great question. I'm really excited to just be part of the community again. That's always been my favorite part is telling people stories, being out in the community, and also getting to the hard stuff as well, holding people accountable for things happening um, and delivering that information to the people that it matters to. So I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, anybody that's met Greg, he's such a character. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I'm really excited to be sitting next to him. Well, I think y'all are going to do fabulous. Uh, the stories that you've covered in the past, uh, talking about the community, what I love is education, I think, is mm -hmm. something important to you. Yes. And I think now, as uh, I noticed, if, I, if I've gotten older, you know, our senior citizens, um, animals, um, and like you said, the hard stuff, really holding people accountable. Because we. this is not the same Amarillo, I feel like, as as t even 10 years ago. Yeah, absolutely, and you're right. I love education. Our teachers and administrators are always doing fabulous things in the schools, and I love to highlight that. You know, mm -hmm. I, I sometimes with uh, national news and things going on, I think a lot of negativity is placed on our schools, and so it's great to showcase the good happening. Sure. And you know, that goes back to why I'm excited to be back in news, is I love to show the good happening in our community. And I think Amarillo, it's always been amazing. I mean, sure. that was even highlighted during COVID. We help each other, and I think we have the best people in our in the Texas Panhandle. You know, I everybody has the best hearts here. I do too. And I, you know, Sheldon is from uh, Eastern New Mexico and is uh, WT. And I, I know mm -hmm. Sheldon. That's one thing you said. This is a place that I feel like 
we don't want the whole world to find out about. We, I mean, it's it's great like, communities whoa. for sure. I mean, that thing is just everybody welcoming and, like I said, helping each other out. I mean, that's just one of the highlights of this area. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we want to tell you this. I uh, want to wanna warn you. Uh, Kevin Selly, that does our weather, he is very tall. Greg Kerr, very tall. So you may, we may have to lift your chair, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and you may have to look up at the, those guys when you're doing the news. And they are the guys that will do uh, short jokes. Okay. Well, I'll just, have to, I'll just have to get a box and carry it around, too, just to stand up next to them, I guess, right? You might not listen to me. <laughs> listen to me right now. Well, we look forward to that. So Monday is your first day yeah. on the air. Monday. Okay. That's right. And I do know that we are going tonight during um, the newscast at 6 and 10 and tomorrow as well. To be featuring a little bit more so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. oh good yeah. okay well good well Great. we're excited and uh, I just think uh, how many how many years in Emerald doing news um, I've been in the news business 15 most of those spent in Amarillo I did move to Maine for a little bit oh. so I spent some time in Maine yeah something completely different Right. So right. got my culture shock, spent two years there, and decided the snow, <laughs> the snow, I was over. <laughs> so I came back. Good. Well, we're glad that you did, and uh, it just uh, wonderful. Um, our uh, beautiful Stacy Sakai that was with us on our 5, 6, and 10 uh, is engaged and uh, is taking care of children and uh, having her family, and so mm -hmm. we... Uh, uh, look forward. I know that she uh, sent you a sweet note yes. and uh, wishing you luck. And so yes. we're so glad you're here. Thank you. We're glad so you're much. here. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Can't yeah. wait.